Uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly get started with Unity Ads. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in Unity 5.2.2. Uh, Unity Ads are in Unity 5.2 uh, and above. If you have not got 5.2, then you'll need to download separate assets. Um, if you're using the iPhone Store, the App Store, then make sure it's 5.2.2 uh, that's the version the lowest it can be because Apple have made some changes and the, the store reject anything that's been built lower than that um, so it's very easy I've just built a very quick scene that just has a button um, what I'm going to do is just add another button actually and just put that a bit higher So I've got two buttons, and I'm just going to make an ad that displays when you click that button, which you wouldn't normally do, you'd have an ad, I don't know, after plays played the game a few times or something, but you can implement that yourself. Uh, but the second one uh, is a button that you actually press to watch the video, and then you get something. Like, some people like to watch a video for extra coins in a game or something, so th there's two ways to implement it, it's very, very easy. Um, first, before you do anything in Unity, you need to search for Unity Ads in Google. Uh, and the top hit will be Unity Services Ads. Uh, you need to sign in. Uh, you can create a Unity Ads... I think you can create a Unity Ads like login, but I always use my Unity login just that I use for the Asset Store or for Unity. Uh, that seems to work well because it links my uh, Unity ads with my Unity environment if you sign in when you open Unity. Uh, so I'll just click UDN sign in. Uh, it does it automatically for me, probably because I've logged in previously. So pick what you want to do with the ads. We want to earn money, but you might want to put ads for your games, we're showing other games, but for now we want to earn money which means display ads in your game uh, and then you get to this screen where you can create projects and have a look how much money you've made, I've not made anything uh, so you add a new project uh, create a new project I'm gonna call this ad test it's gonna be on the Google Play Store but it's not on there yet so I click this second one uh, and then the game is not directed to children under the age of 13. Uh, press continue. Now, you don't actually need to remember this number, uh, but this number will link your game with your UT ad profile I've just created here. And normally, what you do is you'd copy this number into Unity and it will work at how much you've earned and that much uh, but we don't need to do that because we're using 5.2 so we just need to create that profile that's it so now we go back to unity go to window unity services and then a new box will pop up uh, it will pop I don't know, mine popped up next to my inspector but who knows what will pop up on yours so we've already got a project ID click I already have a project ID and like I was saying before if you've signed into Unity and signed into Unity Ads you don't need to copy that number and remember it because it will appear in this drop down box so add test is what I called it click link click yes and now this project is linked with the profile that we just created so you can do lots of things in services, but we want to add ads. So I just clicked the on on the ads. And it seems to have broken it. So what I'll do is I'll close this and open it again, see if the, oh no, it's loaded it there. Just took it, it's taking its time. Uh, so let's put that back. So it's turned on. If I do that, 
uh, it was for Android, but you know, you could do it for iOS if you wanted, not leave that ticked. And then, if you enable test mode, then it'll give you test ads while you're developing, but you must remember to turn this off before you publish it to the store. Uh, it doesn't matter if you tick that, if you're only developing in Unity environment. Um, what I mean by that is, if you have this ticked and you file build to iPhone then you'll get test ads so that you're not using real ads while you're testing uh, but if I just click play here while well, I've got an ad you get like a fake ad anyway so it doesn't really matter if you're on a test in here um, so now to the bit where we actually this number here is the one we set up before but now we're going to get to the bit where we actually uh, put some code into the project. So you'll see on the right there's a code samples. Just click that. Uh, and I had two buttons to insert. One that was a simple, just click it to show an ad, and one that will give me a reward if I click it. Uh, and we have two examples one that's a simple ad, and one that's a reward. So you can just click simple. This is the code you need to show a simple ad. Click copy to clipboard and then we just need to put some code behind this the code that we've just copied so the way I do this which it might not be uh, the best way but it seems to work for me is just to go to game object create empty and then create a game object that's called add controller just so I know that, or let's just call it add control and then I attach a script to this uh, that has that code in that we just copied from here so in my assets if I create a new folder or you might already have a folder called scripts I'm going to create a new C sharp script and I'm going to call that adds and then I'll edit that so I'm using mono develop to edit uh, and then if I paste what I copied to a clipboard before this is this is all you need to show an ad uh, so I called my my script ads so basically I could just delete what was already there but I'll just call this ads just because I can't my script ads um, back to unity I then take the scripts and attach it to the ad control and then if I look at my button uh, it's the wrong way there you go I want to on click I want to run that bit of code so on click press plus uh, oh, messed that up. On click, press plus, grab the add control, put it down there. Function, adds, show ad. And now, if you press play, click the button, and nothing happens. What didn't work was because I'd forgot to change the build settings for for this project. Unity ads only work on iOS or Android. So you go to build settings, which is in file build settings, and then you have to pick either Android, which I will pick because I said I was building an Android app, uh, and then click switch platform. So I mean, you, your app will probably already be configured to be the right uh, mobile device. So now if I click play, and then I click this button it works so you might want to put the advert so that it appears after someone's played a game like so many times uh, you can also just put put an ad in that might do something to help the user so watch an ad get an extra weapon or some extra gold same again you go to windows services or 
services are probably already open. Click ads, click code samples, click reward. Uh, now this time we don't need the full the full bit of code. Well, actually I'll copy the full code to the clipboard. Uh, switch back to my ad script and then if I paste it in here we actually don't need all like this we only need these two where it says public void and private void uh, we need these two methods so I've just copied them I'll delete that and then under the show ad method I will paste it there we go. So now we've got a show reward ad, and uh, if someone watches the full ad, then it goes to the handle result, which is where we give them wherever they wherever we want watching ad. So uh, you might have lives in your game or whatever. Just put the code there. So whatever it is, I've not got anything in this game, so there's nothing not much I can do, but. You could put like gold equals 500 or whatever. Uh, make sure it's commented out. Uh, well, if you want to make equal 500, would you probably put gold equals gold plus 500 and then that would give them 500 gold. Uh, and then, same again, just on the button, this button you might want to change the text to something like click for gold, watch video for gold uh, and then add the ad control down here on, on click and then add not show ad this time, show reward ad uh, and that's it, it's very very easy